everybody, it's Michael from Bay Area Hiking Guides. Give me that information, that knowledge to hike with confidence. I'm up here at Henry Co. Beautiful location. I got a water source right here, so I got to do some water purifying, filter my water and get that all good to go. Okay, so I got to filter my water. I got to get it purified so it's drinkable and I uh, have a nice source. I've got a lovely source of water here provided from this creek going down off of Henry Co. And um, let's go ahead and start with what I need to do. So one of the things that I always bring with me is a filter, a water filter. These guys are awesome. It's S-A-W-Y-E-R, bear with me. It's gonna go ahead and purify my water, get it filtered, and get all that bacteria and that bad stuff out of my water. Now, the other thing that I carry with me, and this is just a precaution, and that's a purifier, the portable, that is the portable aqua tablets, and this is going to get that purification uh, taken care of for me. Just in case of an emergency, if, I, if my filter's not working, if I lose a part to it, if I forget to bring it, I got this guy right here, and that's gonna do the job for me. It's usually about 30 minutes to leave that in there. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can boil your water, that's the other option. You get your jet boil out, or if you got an MSR, you can do those too. Uh, so if you get your jet boil, you boil it for a minute, and if you're up higher, past 3,000 feet, you're gonna boil it for three minutes. Um, and that's gonna get all most of that bacteria out of there, about 160, 180 degrees will do the job. Now there is some bacteria that live uh, in water and they can deal with even hotter degrees like that. They go above 200, 200 degrees, but uh, we don't have that kind of bacteria out here. So you're, you're safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the top here. I wanna find an area where I have more quicker moving water. It doesn't really typically necessarily matter, but I just like to take a safe precaution. Uh, that stagnant water, you end up getting stuff in there and it's just, it's just a better way to go. So I'm gonna find a faster source of water. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep an eye and check my area around a little bit, scout the area out. I've already kind of done that already, but, and I'm gonna make sure I don't see any dead carcasses or anything. We don't wanna have to deal with that. So. So I know that everything is safe and good to go. And bam, let's go ahead and get some water. So I'm gonna dump this guy in there. I use a smart water bottle. Those seem to be pretty effective. They also, the Sawyer's also got uh, little bags that you can buy as well. And those kind of help <laughs> with filling up and then pushing that water out. But I use a smart water bottle. You buy those, you use them once, but then again, it's more plastic you gotta put out there in the environment. So. If you want to use the Sawyers, go right ahead and use those bags that they have. Those work just as well. But these can pretty much tap onto any water bottle. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to dump it on in. Get it all filled up. And I'm just going to kind of leave it up, but I'm going to have the head of the water bottle up a little ways to just submerge uh, from the surface of the water. And I'm going to take that guy and I'm going to pop this... Um, Hey now, I'm going to pop this uh, Sawyer filter on the top there, but it works with me. That would be nice. It would be really nice. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to open up my um, platypus bag. you got to get one of these guys. It's always important to have a good three liters with you, uh, or a liter and a half, just depending on what kind of what you're doing. So just determine from there. We'll do a video on that later. But um, go ahead and start filtering your water. And I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze that water down and just continue to push it through the filter so I can get it purified. Um, there we go. Leave it a little above there. And I just leave it above right there and just start squeezing it through. There's a lot of other things right now that I'm thinking of as I'm doing this, but we're not going to say that on the video. And I'm going to squeeze it through and uh, continue this process until I get the amount of water that I want to get. Uh, invest yourself in one of these Sawyers. I think they run about 25, 30 bucks or not too much. It's definitely something you want to end up getting. Allows you to go ahead and filter that water. There's a lot of people that I've heard that go out and, and they backpack with just gallons of water on them. It, it's not worth it uh, to carry all that weight. It's not good on your knees. So you want to go ahead and have a filter system so you don't have to do some crazy stuff like that and and know where your water source is and game on all right guys well thank you so much for checking out the channel i gotta move out i gotta be uh 
1,500 feet up. All right, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, more videos are pumping out every week, and uh, I appreciate all everything you guys have supported us so much. And if you guys have any comments or questions or you want to add more to this, uh, leave a comment down below. We'll do all of our best to uh, answer any of the questions you have. And uh, thank you guys. Have a great day.